Joining us now, Politico White House reporter Gabby Orr. Good morning, Gabby. Good morning. So Sanders obviously left the imprint on the Democratic Party, but has the party moved past him as the Dallas Morning News writes in an editorial? The field has been filling up with five women, four racial minorities, a little-known white congressman, and a gay mayor. That is a quote. Is there no room for Bernie or, or even Biden, who are older white men, even though they can bring in a lot of money? You know, I think the uh, status quo was that Bernie Sanders had outdone um, himself in 2016 and that he wasn't going to run again or shouldn't run again in 2020. But yesterday, I think, proved otherwise. If you look at the reaction to his campaign announcement yesterday, um, he raised a record, um, you know, seven figures in the first three hours after announcing his campaign for 2020. So the energy is still very much behind Bernie Sanders, even in a Democratic field yeah. um, of primary candidates who have already moved very much to the left and, and in some cases even further to the left than Sanders himself. Let's look at that left platform for many of the candidates right now. Free everything for free every, for everyone. Um, uh, do you see any candidates carving a more moderate path that can actually win the primary? There's definitely a few who have tried to sort of stay away from these big promises, these progressive um, populist ideas, or, or at least allegedly. Um, A.B. Klobuchar is one of them that comes to mind. If, if you watched the town hall that she participated in earlier this week, she was asked if she would support free college tuition for four years um, for every American, and, and she said that that was not something that she was willing to endorse at this time. Um, Kamala Harris is another candidate who has sort of shied away from some of these um, progressive of ideas that others are proposing. Uh, obviously, she endorsed ending private health insurance and then quickly walked that back mm -hmm. after realizing um, how that could damage middle class Americans and businesses. Um, and so I do think that there's an effort among some candidates um, to sort of stay away from these big radical ideas. Um, but on the other hand, you have several Democrats who were previously more mainstream, more moderate, who have definitely tacked left um, just to appeal to Democratic voters in the primary. Uh, Kirsten Gillibrand is a fantastic example of that. She has talked about wanting government guaranteed jobs, floor wages, um, a single payer health care system. These are things that she would have never supported, you know, even 10 years ago. Um, and now she is just to shore up votes among those progressive voters in the Democratic Party. Well, the road is long. We are only at the beginning. Gabby Orr, thank you so much for that this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.